Hey, what is going on, tech fans? Welcome back to yet another episode. And so today I'm going to be showing you how to fix a kernel panic. And in this case, what's going on, it's a, uh, it's a kex that's causing it. And what happened is I just updated uh, Mac and, well, this is what happened. It kernel panicked. And if you do not know what kernel panic is, it's basically a kex or a file that was misconfigured or doesn't work properly and uh, basically spits out an error not letting you boot up or anything. So basically, how do we fix this? So first thing you need is you either need a USB uh, with Mac on it, so a USB device with either uh, Chameleon or Clover with Mac, the Mac installer on it, and then you also, or you can also use a backup, so if you use Carbon Copy you can also do that. Now, uh, so if we look in closely at it, you can kind of see how it shows that, that uh, kernel extension and backtrace, and then it tells you com.apple driver or com.apple.driver.apple t y m c e driver, and that right there is basically the kex that's going on. It's uh, screwing it up. So it tells you right there if you can read that, and uh, basically. How do we fix this? So if we boot on to our backup, first things first, we're going to need to press and hold the power button and basically shut down the computer. And also, if this is happening to you on an actual Mac, uh, not a Hackintosh, something is seriously wrong with your computer. It's wise to make a backup before you do anything on your computer. So if you're going to be editing the uh, uh, Chameleon uh, boot plist, then you want to edit that. Uh, you know, and save it, blah, 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 restart. You always want to have a backup, and I recommend using uh, Carbon Copy, Cloner, or you can use Super Duper, but I just use Carbon Copy. Alright, so once you are logged in to your computer, you want to go into Spotlight, or you can find it, and uh, look for Terminal. And once you open it up, you want to do, well, actually, let me zoom in first, and I'm going to focus it. There we go. And uh, what you want to do is you want to do cd space slash volumes, and you want to have it capitalized because if it is not, it will spit out an error. Now, once you have volumes, you can type in your main partition, not the backup, the main partition. So I have Mac SSD, and you can see how I have a space here. If you just have uh, the space and you don't put this uh, backslash, it will spit out an error, so make sure that you put that backslash before the space. And that goes on terminal just everywhere, so even on Linux. So uh, once you have uh, it spelled like that, or however your main partition is spelled, then you need to go on and press or type in system, library, and then extensions. And once you have that typed in, press enter. And now you can do ls if you want to take a look at uh, what text you have in there. But now we need to do sudo rm dash r, and then you want to just type in apple ty, and then if you press tab, it shows you right there apple tym ced or ce driver dot text, and you want to just press remove, just like that. And if you have a password, it will ask for that. And so, now, we are done. Alright, so I'm on my second monitor, and I'm restarting the computer, because everything, uh, the booting process shows up on my second monitor, and I'm going to be booting onto my main partition. Alright, so now, to show you that it worked properly, I'm going to go into About This Mac. So, I was on 10.9.3, but now you can see how it shows 10.9.4. So that is how you do it, you guys. Make sure that you subscribe, like, and favorite, and share it to all your friends. And make sure that you subscribe just for all the tech videos and whatever, whenever they come out. All right, well, thank you guys for watching, and have a good one. See ya.